In this video, we're going to continue styling the items, and we're going to style the items in our header. So first thing I want to do is click on Logo, New CSS Rule. And I just want to style my logo here. And I'm going to go ahead and go into Box and give it a height of 100 pixels. I decided 110 pixels would be good. Now I'm going to actually scroll down to where my logo is and add in that text. So you all add in whatever text you need. I'm going to add in Cupcake Mary. And I want to link Cupcake Mary, so I've just selected Cupcake Mary. And down here I'm going to link it to the actual website. So no matter what page people are on, if they click on the logo, it's going to take them to the main page. And I always like to set a target. And I went ahead and gave this an ID, CCM-Logo, and it went ahead and added that ID for me. I can then click the new CSS rule, and it's going to pull up that ID, and then I can start styling at how I wish. You then want to set the background for this logo. So I clicked on background, clicked on browse. You're going to go find the logo that you may have created in Photoshop. And I set the width and height to the same as the picture. So it is 399 pixels wide and it is 86 tall. And we want it to auto center, so we're going to set the right and left to auto. I'm going to click on block and set it to display block. And I don't want that text that I typed in the hyperlink to show up, so I'm going to set that to negative 9999 and put that on pixel so it just moves it right off the screen. And now you'll notice our logo pop up right here. We're now going to style our banner, so I'm going to click on banner, go to new rule over here, hit OK, block. Under our text align, we're going to choose center. And then go to box and under height, 128 pixels. And now we've got a section for our banner. Go ahead and add in your banner. So I clicked in the banner div, went to insert image, found my banner, and clicked OK. You can always add alt text. This is my banner. And now the banner pops up there. I need this background color since we've got our main items in there. So I'm going to go over to CSS Styles, All, click on Header. Here's the background color that I don't need any longer. So I'm going to select it and then choose the trash can. And now that background color is gone.